Everybody, I'm out here with Armor Crate and my son's driving the ECX Amp. He's two years old. He's bound to get in this thing. He's having a blast. We got this little dog right here that we've adopted for today. Uh, the Creighton's running a 16 tooth pinion, first time ever. I'm just seeing how it acts. Um, not quite sure I'm going to keep it on there. It came with the Outcast. Seems like it's got quite a bit more ump to it. So we're just going to play around with it. I think I'm definitely going to have to get a new steering servo. It's having a lot of trouble steering. The last one stripped out and I took parts off another one. They had a bad motor. But definitely going to probably get some box for it. I'm going to do a little jump here, make sure the kids are out of the way. Play with your car, Ashton. Get over here and play with your car. I'm mostly a basher. I don't know if my temp gun's coming through the mail. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the 16 tooth on the crate or not. Ashton, right here. Ashton, right here. As you can see, I've been using some flex seal. I put some flex seal on the ramp to give it more grip. I flex sealed the crate and body, put two coats on it. Got two coats on the outcast body, or I'd be playing at the outcast right now. It's drying. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to help out with those bodies. Flip it back over, buddy. Flip it back over. You gotta fix it. There you go. I'm going to come over here on this bank. I was doing backflips with a 14th tooth pinion with the crate and it was slow backflips. I'm going to see what she does with a 16 tooth. Ashley, come on, buddy. You, you got to watch out with your car. I don't want to spend the whole time chasing after yours. Here, won't you stay over there? There's a lot of dog poop over here. All right, go. Go, Ashton. This is my little spot I like jumping since I live in an apartment. Tell you what, once you get used to success with these trucks, I mean, there's no point even trying 4S. I didn't even stick, didn't even attempt to stick 4S on the Outcast. Oh yeah, simple. That was not even half throttle. I had to hold full throttle with the 14th tooth on the. I had the 14th tooth on here. I'm just doing gentle jumps. I did order a uh, Dusty Motors um, body. There goes my son's RC car, and he's not even watching. Like I say, he's only two, he's gonna be three this year, so he's learning. Got, I tell you what, if you got young kids and you just want something, something simple, I've never broken a part on this thing. The EC, the ESC did go bad on it, but this thing cranked all the way up, only does like 17 miles an hour, so it's it doesn't break nothing. And you could adjust the power level on it. But I did order a Dusty Motors screen thing i'm kind of curious about it i don't think the outcast is going to need one because everything's up so high on the outcast on the side so rocks and stuff can't get into it creighton on the other hand rocks and stuff gets in all the time i'm afraid i'm going to tear up my gears uh don't know how it's going to work with that i don't know if i like the fact that you know won't be able to get much air to my motor but you know it's trial and error you gotta learn these things I love my Creighton. Creighton's tough for nails. I'm hoping the Outcast is too. Yeah. I could, I probably end up sticking with the 16 tooth on the Creighton. I just have to watch my motor temps. Ugh. 
at being kind of hard. I don't want to check everything. Sometimes I got some parts that likes to go loose on her. Some steering arms that likes going loose. I did notice on the uh, Outcast that the linkages for the uh, the plastic pieces seem a little bit thinner. I had it already pop off once, but luckily it just popped off. I don't know if they designed it like that or not, but I've never had one pop off on the Creighton. Once, not at all whatsoever. Uh, the Creighton is running Fast Eddie sealed bearings. Um, hey, don't don't be playing those switches, okay? But uh, well, she's really pulling to the left. Something just don't seem right with that front steering. Just oh, it's all loose in there. It looks like my dang adjustments and loosened up again. Ashton! Well, uh, thank y'all for watching.